For me, the most interesting point here is that the, the, the proposal which was made by some other stakeholders, including the European Union, the Commission of Eva and Reading, to substitute the US government by a new body. Um, Madame Redding proposed the G12, 11 governments and the CEO of ICANN, as a new body to oversee ICANN, was rejected and instead of one oversight body, new body, we have now four review panels. So this is interesting because it's not one panel, so it's four. So that means the, the process of decentralization goes further down the road. That means no panel, you know, will look into, will be the, the, the big overseer of the, of the process. So they have a very clear mandate to look into competition aspects and consumer protection aspects, into accountability aspects, so it's very specified. It's not recentralization of uh, oversight power, it's a decentralization. And then it's not called oversight, it's review. Review means you do not have um, master-slave relationship like in an oversight mechanism. In an oversight mechanism, you have a master who tells the slave you, have, you are good or you are bad, you have to do this or, or that. So it's more a partnership. Review means that both sides on the table you know, have a certain responsibility. They have to exchange views and to, to work together to find the best solution, to improve it step by step. So it's a process. And that's it, the, interesting, the most interesting element in my eyes for the affirmation of commitment. Now, you know, why we'll have this new beast, we have to implement this. And, and this will be the next important step. How do you review panels are composed? What is the concrete mandate? What will be the result? You know, which nature will be have the recommendations of the review panels? All this is the work which has to be done in the next years. So that means ending with the future. So uh, we have reached a new level and we have a new bright future ahead of us. Thank you very much.